guys, I'm Alain, the Proptographer. Welcome to episode number two. In this episode, I'm going to show you how I built the mask used by the Rogue in episode one. By the way, if you haven't seen episode one, go check it out. It's super interesting. You see me edit a normal looking picture and adding some magical effect to it to make it more interesting. So let's build. After printing the Wintercraft mask template from their website, I rough cut each segment and glued them on a sheet of construction paper stolen from my kid's stash. I did this because my printer paper is not rigid enough. I then cut each part and started the assembly process. This is actually very fun and while I had some issues on my first try, this one went very smoothly. Using a thicker paper really paid off because the mask kept its shape contrary to my initial prototype which will collapse on itself as soon as I lift it on the table. I then used a spray adhesive to glue another copy of the pattern on the EVA foam boards. Once the glue dry, I cut each component to ease handling, then cut each facet one at a time, making sure to glue them on the opposite side of the face since I had to flip the pieces to glue paper on paper. This glue up went much better than expected, the only difficult part are the piece between the upper lip and the nose. This is what we have so far. The next step is to fill the gap between the facets with bundo. It was my first time working with this material and everything you heard about it is true. It stinks, it's hard to apply and the working window is pretty short. If you have to use bundo, make sure you work in a well ventilated area. Even with my garage door open, it took more than 24 hours to get rid of the smell. It is around here that I realized that I should have extended all the EVA parts before gluing them up. The bundle was sticking on the floor mat pattern and it was near impossible to get a smooth surface. I did manage to clean up the biggest parts on the disc sander, but the smaller parts were out of reach. At least I was able to use a Dremel to enlarge the eye sockets and develop them a bit to increase visibility. The mask is now complete, we only have to texturize it. Using a bit with a rounded tip, I started to dig the mask surface. To achieve the best results, the idea is to randomly make a few big holes, then keep filling the space between these with smaller holes until the whole surface is processed. At least, that's in the theory. While the results are very convincing on EVA foam, the bundle joints were not very cooperative and broke a few times. It took me much longer than anticipated, but 3 Dremel bits later, it was done. This is what the mask surface looks like under a coat of black primer. Not very good. Fortunately for me, getting an iron-like effect on a textured surface is very easy. Just dry brush some metallic paint and voila! The success of dry brushing is to go slow and stop when it looks good. It's very tempting to add just a little bit, but I have to remind myself that every time I think so, it was always a failure in the end. The mask is now technically done, except for one thing. There's no way to attach it. My initial idea was to use leather straps with rivets, but I'm pretty sure the EVA foam plus bandeau will break apart if pressed too hard. So instead, I decided to cut a groove on the side of the mask and make it look like the leather strap is going inside. Everything is held in place with contact cement and the result is better than I expected. Finally, we are done. As you can see, I added two more leather straps using the same technique. While I'm pleased with the result, some of the joints are still very visible and need to be cleaned up in Photoshop, but I guess it's still easier than retouching skin. Thank you for watching till the end. I hope you liked the video, and if you did, please click on the like button or maybe even subscribe to be notified every time I put new content on YouTube. Speaking of new content, next video is all about my way to add mood to an image. See you next week.